Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Talk About Jesus with Fibra Adibo Ali. This is your first time, welcome. And if you're returning, I'm glad that you're here on this channel I talk about Jesus as the name implies. Today we'll be talking about the reflection from the bonus um, challenge. So we had like four weeks of daily meditation on scriptures. And then we had three extra days before the month of July ended. And I just felt to share um, a verse in those three days, which is what I will be reflecting on today. I hope it blessed you. I hope the whole challenge blessed you. If it did, share your testimonies. Let's see what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, in this, um, for this, this time, we read the scripture from John, or we meditated on the scripture from John chapter 15, verse 7. But before we continue, let's just pray. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, please use me. Speak through me. I have nothing to say except the words that you give me. Father God, I pray that you, your word will burn in the hearts of men and women in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your mercies that endure forever. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. So, John 15 verse 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Hallelujah. This verse, um, when I was struggling mentally in like 2020, 2019 stroke 2020, one of the words that this, the Lord gave me was this verse. And I had no idea what it meant. If all I knew was just that I had a scripture in my heart, which I found very interesting. But now, um, thankful for the process that the Lord has taken me through and for growth, you know. So, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish. And it will be done for you. So where, where are you abiding? If you abide in the world, you will not be able to get what you need from the Lord. Right? You will not be able to ask. Which mouth do you want to ask? On what basis are you asking? Because there is a manual for asking the Bible. So how do you abide in the world? Not spending time with the, with the Lord, for example. Constantly spending time in movies. Things that have nothing to do with the Lord. I'm not saying movies are bad. But when that's all you spend your time doing, then... There's a problem. So God wants us to abide in him. And when we abide in him, his words begin to abide in us. Because the more you spend time with a person, the more you, you begin to think like them, right? It's like husband and wife. The more you stay together, the more you begin to look like each other. So when you sit in God, abide in him through prayers, through meditation, through reading the word, through um, interacting with like-minded people, then his words begin to abide in you too. Hallelujah. Then you can ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Amen. So he says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So maybe you are still struggling and constantly still asking for that thing because you're not really abiding in him. Maybe you are just trying to use him. Hallelujah. God doesn't like to be used. It's like you, a parent, if you're a parent, for example, if your child only calls you when they need something, you won't be very happy. You might love that child, but you won't be very happy. So God wants us to abide in him. And God doesn't just want us to be praying, Father, give me. Give me this, give me that, give me this. He wants us to love him. Just come on, just worship him. Just dance before his presence, you know. Just enjoy him, right? The way you would enjoy your lover. God wants to be enjoyed. Abide in God and let his words abide in you. Read the Bible, meditate. How do you meditate? You say to yourself like this now. If you you sing, you're saying, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. God wants us to, you know, sit in him. Then when that word becomes really strong in your heart, you can then pray back to God and you will get results. This is how prayers are answered. Another scripture says, another um, version, it says, stay joined to me and let my teachings become part of you. And you can pray for whatever you want and your prayer will be answered. <clears throat> Excuse me. So stay joined to the Lord, not that you're in, in Jesus today, tomorrow you're out, right? Um, you know, you go to church, lift up holy hands on, on Sunday and then from Monday to Saturday. Your behavior is nothing to write home about. Your thoughts are nothing to write home about. That's not the life of God. That's not the life God wants his children to live. 
it says stay joined to me and let my teachings become part of you then you can pray for whatever you want and your prayers will be answered god wants to answer prayers though. but how much of god's word have we put in our hearts how much how joined are we to the lord hallelujah how joined how many how long do you spend with him you know imagine you are just spending five minutes with him this world is full of nonsense right this world the ideologies of this world are rubbish but and it's easy to get influenced by the sewage of this world but you cleanse your mind by coming back to the word right it says you should be washed by the washing of water by the word hallelujah so god's word will cleanse us and then we will know god's position on certain things we are asking for right if you want to move to a city in a, a different city for example and you haven't heard from the lord sit down with jesus let him speak to you right he might speak to you from his word and then you will know that okay I'm supposed to do this i'm not supposed to do this hallelujah then you can even know what to pray for and you'll not be praying amiss because god has already told you this is the plan amen um john 15 verse 7 says another version if you remain in me and my words remain in you you may ask anything you want and it will be granted i think this has pretty much explained everything i've said so stay in god Engage him, love him, meditate on his word, and when his word becomes really strong in your heart, then you can ask him whatever you desire according to his word, right? If you ask him anything according to his will, he hears you according to his will. Hallelujah. And then it will be done. But you don't do this, it doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> in our generation, we like um, Indomie. For non-Nigerians, Indomie is um, instant, yes, instant, things that are instant, like instant noodles. We like things. We don't like to wait for things, but waiting is part of the process. It's part of working with God. It says, follow after them who through faith and patience obtained the promise. And so these things don't happen in one day. It doesn't happen overnight. Remain in him. Continue to remain in him. Continue to remain in him. Continue to abide until his words you know abides in you and then you can ask whatever um you want and it will be done of course according to his will so yeah that's it for the bonus meditation text i hope it has blessed you i hope the challenge blessed you if you did please share um like and also subscribe and i will see you in my next video thanks for joining me bye